production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of O's. This is episode number 61, that's right, we're back after a brief and or a number of brief hiatus I, hiatuses, or just one long one. Uh, we are back. Tales of Heroes has returned with a few changes, unfortunately. I regret to inform those of you that may not know that Vittensby will no longer be joining us for the show. Uh, as he's had some time constraints on his life, he's got a new job, uh, he's got a girlfriend, and, uh, you know, he doesn't like us anymore. No, just kidding. He, he's, he's really uh, going to focus on his real-life goals right now, and so that's absolutely fine with us. We're very happy to have had him on the 60 or so episodes that we did get to have him, and we hope to have him back sometime in the future, maybe on a, as a guest rather than the main host. But joining me today... We have the brand new co-host for Tales of Heroes. We have Rogers, Sam Forrester, on with us here. Welcome to the show, Sam. Thank you, Bridger. It's uh, I, I, This is a real honor for me because I have been a TOH fan since day one, since you guys started. And um, I, it's, it's hard for me um, to see Vittensby leave the show, and I really hope that I can, you know, be here with you and we both just do some good shows together and I hope that all the fans out there will um, will understand why Vitz cannot continue because, you know, he's got job constraints and everything. So, yep. But, uh, yeah, I'm here and I'm definitely looking forward to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks, Bridger. Absolutely. So, without further ado, let us jump right into the game. We have a game on Point Two Hawk today, in case you haven't understood. I decided that what I've been doing is uh, at the very beginning of the show, I find a point of view in the map and just sort of look around from there. And so the game is, from now on, at the very beginning of the show, try and figure out what map we're on, right? Just from that little point of view. Like, I zoom way in on a section of the map and just look at some random object. And your goal is to guess what map it is before I actually zoom back out. And no looking at the minimap, because that's cheating. I, I, I can't get rid of the task bar, because if I do, then, then, that, then the, the resources don't show up in the replay anymore, and that's unfortunate. But, <laughs> <laughs> without further ado, this is a game actually that I, uh, I acquired through some interesting means, but it is Mari uh, uh, Marinez and Adrian versus Anaketos and Spikes. Anaketos and Spikes have both been on the show before. They are uh, the Russian conglomerate. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but they're, they're, they're the crazy Russians, and we've had Anaketos on the show before. We've had Spikes in, featured in a replay as well, and uh, this promises to be a very good game. So uh, Rogers is going to bring you the show from the Axis point of view. I've got the allies. It looks like we have a... Uh, a British and American versus a uh, Wehrmacht and a Panzer Elite. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. Panzer Elite. Indeed. So we've got a nice spread of people on a nice 2v2. Let's find out if it deluges into worthless artillery spam. By the way, uh, this is on uh, the most recent patch. So here we go. Unpausing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Unpause. This is the most recent patch of the beta that would be point, uh, three point. No, 2.3.0.8, I believe. Yeah, it, it ends with an 8. That's just yeah. about all I know. Right. So, interesting. We are going to see how this happens here. And we've actually got the double chat bug, which happened during the previous beta, which I always found interesting. Uh -huh. um, one thing to, uh, to point out, Rogers and I have both been playing the beta fairly extensively, and we hope to have uh, uh, an audio show to go with us this week uh, discussing it and... Uh, our feelings having come back to COH from a uh, fairly lengthy hiatus. At least mine is. Uh, so we'll yeah, see. So we've got the HQ truck building a Bren carrier off the bat, oddly enough. And anybody who can understand this. Russian can give us some interesting insight into what's going on over the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. All right. So the first things out, we've got uh, the capping from the Kettengrad. We've got Panzer mm. Grenadiers pushing towards the middle. Uh, looks like from the Wehrmacht, we have a, a Volksgrenadier squad coming out first. Yeah. 
See, this is one thing. Oh, I thought he was in the south. The Ketten was being kind of path blocked by the engineers. And do you remember when that happened to me in that one game, yes. Bridger, early mm -hmm. on? The rifle section just kept moving around my Ketten and it couldn't path and it died. That was. I think that's an annoying little bug, but it's interesting that the engineers are laying wire in the south. Because I know that the Panzer Elite were probably going to go for that plus 10 fuel point. I think that's the only plus 10 on the map. Uh, at least for the fuel. And that's that's going to be really... Wait, no, that's a muni point. Okay, but the fuel is directly south of that. Right, it is, it is one of the only uh, plus 10 munitions points on the map as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Everything else is pretty much low, low munitions and low fuel all over the place. So here comes a Bren carrier behind <laughs> enemy lines, uh, just, just hanging on. Oh, it's in trouble, though. That's a lot of infantry. That is a lot of infantry. Now, they're trying to use the, the, the Volks to <laughs> path block it the same way. I mean, they've got to do something with light vehicles and things that don't have heavy crush and things that don't yeah. have medium crush. Anything that only has light crush, there needs to be a way that the infantry won't stop it like that. That's, yeah, that's, that's really, really stupid. stupid. That doesn't make any you sense You tell it to get out of there when it's still got full health and, the, you know, it's it, it, it winds up dancing getting... Dancing around, dancing around, turning around. around, turning around. Yeah, just because somebody, like, clicks on it a hundred times with their infantry. It's really retarded. That's, yeah, that's an exploit, in my opinion. And uh, I, I don't know, because you, you see this kind of stuff, because, I mean, consider it, if there's, like, some small vehicle, like a Bren carrier, driving towards you, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm not going to stand in front of it. Right, and, and the Bren carrier's it. not going to stop, Ooh. either. <laughs> oh, no, damage oh, man, engine, it's terrible. gone. That's their first unit out. That's that's a major victory yeah. for the uh, Axis players, I think, early game. I, it looked like it was... It, it looked like... I don't know where it was going, but then he mentioned that it's not even where he told it to go, which I believe, because I've yeah. seen those things just randomly drive off in the weird direction sometimes. Yeah. Let's see. But we here comes two rifle sections. This could, be, this could be bad. Well, there's so much German infantry there that I don't think that's going to... Especially with that officer support... They're moving slow, firing slower, they're in trouble, yeah, they run away. Yeah, that's true. If they had an officer, it would probably be pretty different. But he's charging with the... Ooh. I don't know what that was about. I think that might have been that's the guys just randomly charging across for cover. Good job, Oh, AI. we have a sniper out. Do we? Sniper taking down some uh, Panzer Elite infantry on the right-hand side. That was a good choice by the uh, uh -huh. W... I'm, I'm amazed at the... Uh, who is it? Marianas went uh, with a weapon support center uh, opening, which is probably a really good idea. It's going to help him... Uh, keep those three-man PE squads at bay, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of weapon support openings. It really helps. I mean, the infantry sections are by far superior to riflemen in terms yeah. of just laying firepower down and survivability. So, you know, why would you build riflemen uh, when your teammate's building infantry sections? Especially because yeah. machine guns and, uh, and, and snipers just so much more useful when tied to the British infantry sections. That is true. Take a look at the south, Bridger. Um, we have an MG nest being placed, which is great placement for that. That's going to help the Allies Ooh. hold that entire hill and then also that southern munitions point. Wow, yeah, look at that. Ooh, <laughs> and they upgraded up. flamers, wow. Excellent, that is fantastic. A lot of Volks here in the middle, that's kind of surprising. Hmm. Middle's cut off that? too because they have that, that, that plus 10. Look at that. Yeah, yeah you can yeah. have that fuel. You're not getting anything from it right there. Oh. That's pretty useful. That's a great we strategic have, spot to, to, to bunker down. Absolutely. We There's have no way to a, flank it. <laughs> that's awesome. sizes coming up now Ooh, from okay. the logistics company. So that's going to give them a little bit more survivability against the snipers and uh, weapon supports in their start, probably. All right, let's see. A lot of infantry in the... In the uh, south the germans are trying to decide what to do yeah and uh maybe what he, they could do is uh, anti-tank grenades are good against buildings so that might help him take out the mg in place even though i doubt that's what he's gonna do i don't know can he reach it from way down there he might be able to he might be able to and but an mg is coming up now with the sniper support and that's just gonna shred those oh uh, man grenades. he could put that mg inside of one of those bunkers too but I, he Ooh. probably fears incendiary grenades just yeah, in case yeah. See, we have the Comp Group of Company coming up as well, so we're going to be looking at a mortar half track probably because he has 58 fuel, so he should be all right with that. That is great likely. lockdown in the south by the Allies. Great lockdown. Yeah, I I don't know why. Oh, because oh wow, they really should have taken that con that victory point before yeah. the machine gun jumped in the bunker. Yeah. Let's see. We have two snipers up by um, Moranis, and uh, we have one Wehrmacht sniper up by Spikes in the middle. I see another, there's a new sniper 
popped out. Uh oh, there's a Vickers Big machine gun emplacement. Oh, it actually depressed oh. something. Holy crap! Yeah. They, oh, they, they, rifle they, grenades. Oh. Oh. Those things are deadly. That's a good place to set up. Look, he even has a, an MG overlooking the uh, victory point in the middle. That's excellent placement right there. That's really going to help him hold on to these VPs. Our supply lines Great lockdown by the allied players, oh, which yeah, is yeah, what yeah, they okay. really have to do. Good mortar placement, too, next to that house. Well done. Yeah, this is looking very good for the allies so far. They're even yeah. getting back the fuel that they lost in the south. Mm -hmm. Forced a full and retreat the mortar off the map. Track is out now. There we go. What else do we have? It always does be seem to be a big thing for PE to just sort of like harass and just try and barely hang on until either the mortar half track or the infantry half track pop onto the field. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Let's see what do we have here. I have no AT. <laughs> Good teamwork. The American engineers are repairing the uh, the Vickers machine gun emplacement. They wouldn't. They, that is. There's no way for the British to to do that unless they build a, a sapper. Squad. Yeah, and they don't have two, oh, they do have they tier do, two up now. Tier two just popped in though, so you know yep. it's very good teamwork early in the game. Here comes, I believe that's the mortar half track now. Yeah, it's probably showing bombarding the south. The Great south. work there. Yeah. They make that's it. Gonna clean. Super uh, lucky and get a a stray shot onto the sniper, but that's not likely. No, not likely. Uh, he's using the Ketten in his frontline position, which is really good because that's going to help him uncloak the sniper, and maybe um, I don't know. Oh. We have, uh, Spikes is moving his sniper up, and he's probably going to use the Ketten to scout for the sniper, but the MG is probably going to stop that plan. That's, wow, this could be a difficult engagement for both sides. Oh, yeah. Right now, that, that, that mortar half-track is going to eventually counter everything that's over there. It's just going to take probably, a while. Probably, yeah. They're probably going to try for a fast Stewart now. We have a motor pool coming up from, uh, Moranis. Let's see. Triage center, well, a casualty clearing center up in the middle right now. Wow. Okay. Uh oh. AP rounds, turn them on, turn them on. Oh. Ooh, we have the Shrek upgrade at the Comp Group of Company. So the Panzer Elite players will be able to get uh, Panzer Shreks now. That Which is definitely useful. Oh, yeah. Oh, but he's repairing Incendiary the machine gun. Aid. Whoa, uh, yes. That was a hey, that good was shot. A yeah, it was a little too early. Oh my god, but... Oh, well, no! Oh, the sniper! <gasps> oh, no! Level 1 vet sniper. That's terrible. Oh. That's that god-awful retreat pathing for you. I'll tell you that much. That's just terrible. He Damn. lost his MG, and he's going to lose the bunker. Maybe. It's going to take a little bit longer than he's expecting, but... So how did his sniper get caught? Did the Ketten just came up a little bit... And he didn't notice it? I don't know. I think he was afraid that uh, that all that infantry was, as soon as he sniped something, he should have just run it down by the VP and then either just pulled it back or retreated it because it was way too risky to keep it there. He's getting a steward right now. That's good. They really need that. Yeah, they need the ability to cut down that mortar half track. Yeah. We have a Puma on the field. Wow. And we have airborne. What is that? Strafing run. Strafing, Strafing run. run. Oh. Wow. It killed a few guys near the uh, oh, mortar half track. Oh, I see, I see. Track. Sniper survived the that. The Puma's giving hell to the British forces in the middle. They a have second Puma's lieutenant. coming out. Oh, no, that's a, that's a cat. That's a, what is it, an officer and a captain. Another, they must have a lot of munitions. Are you watching the American player, Bridger, or the British one? Uh, I'm watching the American player because I'm seeing strafing okay. run. How's he doing with munitions right now? Right now he's at 10 because he called in a strafing <laughs> run, so... They got the steward up right now. That's probably going to head straight to the south. Good move. That Puma's really putting the hurt down. They got two Pumas. Wow. Yeah, second one already came out. I mean, they could be pumping that thing up to... Uh, upgraded gun. Upgraded too. gun, too. Yeah, and then that'll do decent damage against the steward. We have the M8 and Stuart uh, duo here. This, this is a very common sight in 2v2s nowadays. Yeah. And it's really tough for the Axis players, especially when they're not really expecting it. If they get both those Pumas upgraded, they could probably easily take out... Oh, easily, yeah. I mean, even one would easily take out the armored car, but... Yeah. Oh, man, we might see a canister shot here by the VP. Holy crap, he, I don't think he has the munitions for it, though. The I don't British know about player. the British player, but... Oh, he did, but he didn't kill Oh! Anybody. Oh, wow, it, it killed a lot of guys, yeah. but no squads, huh? I think that was because they were in cover. That was good. Oh, we're going to lose the steward here. And we have an upgraded gun coming up on Spike. What is killing it? I don't understand. Is it getting hit uh, by the Pumas? I think there was a Panzerfaust. I'm pretty uh, sure. It must I'm, 
the Puma did a little bit of damage too. They're chasing yeah, it with the Puma Pumas. It. They're doing like teeny oh, tiny no, bits of damage. It's the flak oh, no. oh, what's gonna happen here? Flak rolling into we the back. He's taking rear people. armor hits. Ooh. Oh no! He's going after the mortar track, right? Where'd it go? Yeah, he's he wants to around. kill that thing because it's. That would be good if they could do that. That would at least make all. Oh, here comes the upgraded gun, the 50 mortar millimeter. half track is very low on oh, health. I guarantee you, the um, the steward's gonna die by the flak rolling. No, yep. no, I'm wrong. No, oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, it Rear shots. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> yes. Oh, there it man. is. Oh man. Oh, we have double M8s in the south. Holy crap! <laughs> the infantry half tracks in trouble. Oh, Where's no your armor piercing rounds now, Hans? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You never had any. Uh -huh. Here comes the upgraded Puma, but I think that these M8s will just be able to dance around it. We have a squad upgraded with Shrek's repairing the mortar half track. But uh, Shreks have been nerfed severely in this in this beta. Yeah, mostly it's, so it's 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 their long range, angles. long range yeah. accuracy nerf. Let's see if they. Yeah, look at that! Wow, that's really that need to get closer to do to do the same kind yeah. of damage that the Shrek used to do, which I yeah. which I think actually I for one agree with that change. I think yeah. there might be needing some other changes to go along we have with that. Firing on the hill in the middle. Interesting. Ooh, oh, I see it. Okay. Dot damage there. Oh man. That was a good. That was a good placement. But he popped the medical kits. Ah, yep. We do have anti-tank grenades up for the Panzer Elite player. That's that's interesting. You never see that ever. He got a really lucky hit on this machine gun emplacement. It's been it's doing half damage. The Nebel can yeah, do if you get a direct hit. The Nebel did a whole half damage to it. And by that I mean it did actually half damage. Yeah, these M8s need to keep backing up and keep microwing or other. Oh, here comes a Puma. Uh oh. Oh, it missed. <laughs> oh, that sucks. He might. Oh, and we have a sniper. Excellent bait. Oh, oh man. but here comes. Oh, the Panzer Shrek shot at the sniper instead of the stupid armored uh, car. And we have another steward up. Whoa, a third M8. Oh my goodness. You never see this. We've got two upgraded wow. Pumas though. Why is it turning around? For God's sake. I don't know. Operation. We have Hetzers available for uh, the Panzer Elite player. So spikes when tank hunters. We have a stug up from uh, Spikes. There we go. Oh, that's gonna help. I can't Ooh. believe that that oh, was very missed. bad Puma Mike or Puma Micro yeah. there. I don't know what he was trying to achieve. Maybe he wasn't paying attention. One squad with a Shrek. It's just barely gonna. Why is this infant? Oh, it's gonna go after the sniper. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Oh no. One of the M8s is gonna go down. This is cr oh man. Destroyed main gun, damaged engine. Here comes oh, a massive amount of infantry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that! It was doing a wheelie! That yeah, was great! That was pretty cool. We have a Hetzer up for the Panzer Elite player, and he's bringing in a Hetzer. That's really gonna turn the tide. They need AT guns right now, the uh, American player. Yeah. Stugs are good for oh, something else. Oh, there after go the all. snipers. Wow, look at that. Two snipers. They're That's running. Really going to be tough for the oh infantry half track down by the fuel point and Nebels are oh coming in. Oh my god, this is like this is there's so much manpower broken. dying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh man, here goes that Stug, Stug is going to chase both the armored cars. It might kill both of them. That oh could be wow, a huge turnaround in this game. Holy there goes crap. one. One down and. He needs to lay an M8 mine and then back up. I think that would be a good idea. Because the Stug would just... I think it would just run into it. Whoa. Rear armor hit from what? The Why machine the gun? What the heck? Power fighting. Did you see that? <laughs> I saw that. That was ridiculous. <laughs> um, it must be slippery out there, I guess. I guess. Woo! Gravity. The, the, oh, this could be bad. The, the, There's oh, an AP yeah. gun setting up. AP rounds, hopefully. Ooh, he's going to get that Stug. That's a huge loss. For oh, the damaged engine! Wow. Oh, keep microing that M8. That's your only saving grace here. Taking heat. Something said. Oh, you could get the M8 in retaliation, but it's not pointed the right way anymore. Oh man, this is. Oh, that's good micro right there. Just keep. <laughs> this is the, the battle of the butter. reversing. <laughs> He's trying to stay on <laughs> yeah, the other side of the building. Oh, it. oh, there it is. Excellent. I want to take that and I want to put that crazy chicken music in it. <laughs> That'd be excellent. Or that wow. Benny Hill music too. Yeah. That would be good. <laughs> wow. We have, okay. we have a mortar half track shelling the mortar emplacement. 
but it looks like the mortar emplacement is going to win because one thing that's very smart about this placement, you notice how the building is blocking a whole section of it? That's yeah. That's really good right there. If it that's comes. That's excellent placement. Now, that's how really is he good. seeing that stuff? He must just put it on. Oh, no, he sees it because he sees the mortar half track. Yeah, yeah. One thing Look I don't like. Cap in the south. Look at that. Airborne and a uh, whole bunch of infantry sections down there. Wow, that could yeah. Be uh, Axis. And there's the Stuart. Oh, it's so cute. Why is he sending his M8 into the... Oh, he's going to lose another M8. Nope. Thankfully, Axis, uh, uh, accuracy is just terrible. Hmm. Yeah, that I haven't seen those Pumas hit yet. That was pretty ridiculous. Oh, yeah. See, this, this could be really bad for the Panzer Elite player. He's clustering his forces in the middle, and that could be devastating. That's just an American player just praying for a strafing run like that. Yeah. That could be really devastating. Upgrade this uh, mortar, mortar player. half, tra mortar emplacement is in trouble. Yeah. You know something I posted Pine on the forums. I feel Pine like, ooh, awesome. I feel like the mortar and the 17 pounder and the 25 pounder emplacements need to be changed. I like that they're really resistant to any kind of artillery. But the problem is when you do that and you make them also resistant to light arms and flamethrowers don't really do anything because they die within seconds of even, you know, existing. It yeah. just seems to me like the emplacements are so much harder to destroy than, say, a bunker. Yeah, that's true. You know? Ooh, mortar half drag just went down in the middle. Ouch. Yeah. What got that? Was yeah. that the AT gun? It was the AT gun, actually. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it was another Ooh. AT gun. I was gonna say that's one. It's got single that's level of veterancy yep. already. Oh no, it's dead though. <laughs> the flamethrowers are gonna take that out. Look at all these these snipers are laying waste to this Panzer Lee infantry. This is excellent sniper, Mike. Look at those guys. Here they're on a road and wow. they're like, oh my god, get a hold of that road, get up there. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. This is oh. some nice little tactic. They killed here. one AT. They could yeah, steal it. Down. Both the AT guns are down. Yeah. Now they can bring in whatever armor they got. The Hetzer's ready. Yep, but the snipers are just going to keep firing, and oh, man. Yikes. Look at that M8 just peel out. That was awesome. Just speeds up. Cool speed for yeah, the road the road bonus is really pretty impressive. Yeah. It's a nightmare for allied players. <laughs> I mean, Axis players. That's it's really rough. We got uh, the Shrek. Shrek hit squad. it? <laughs> yeah, Another miss from the Hetzer. Holy crap. Ooh. Oh no, they've oh, revealed the sniper! Oh god! Oh man, look at the Hetzer come speeding in! One's I gone! I think this RR squad's gonna kill the Hetzer. Wait for it. Ne I think it will. On the rifles, nope, the Hetzer's speeding away too. Oh, no. It's like an on super speed because of all these road bonuses. Main gun destroyed, the Hetzer gets away! Oh man, that's lucky. Wow. And Nebel's trying to kill any backup. Oh, this could do some damage. The dots that they're retreating through, that could do some damage. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Finally, a Hetzer Ooh. hits one. Look at this massive cap along the left-hand side. The the Germans have been completely ignoring this, and they're getting resource screwed right yeah, now. Yeah, they are. Look at that. They, have plus 10 they still don't have the advantage of this plus 5 in the middle. No. They're, they're, just, they're in deep trouble right now in terms of resources. We have an armored command truck up, and we have a Cromwell command tank, and I'm guessing a Firefly is on the way. That's going to be devastating for the Panzer Elite. We have another infantry half track on the way as well. Hmm. He's got that one, uh, and he's okay. He's repairing the other Hetzer with his uh, tank bustas. Yep. Finally, the Germans are responding to the southern uh, cap. But still, that's going to take them a long time to recap. That's, yep. that's going to be detrimental. That's the job of a Ketten grad. Yep. You just kill the defenders and send the Ketten in. Yep. Ooh, you're capping the fuel on the left here will actually connect them to that middle. No, it won't. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, not quite. Nebels are firing. I hear them. Coming down in the They're middle. They're firing up the middle. Ooh. Sniper might get hurt if it gets a long shot. Not gonna happen. Whoa! What exploded? I think that oh, was a wreck uh, exploding. There's fire coming down on the middle um, right now. Infantry section just barely makes it away. Look at that. Running to the hill right now. He barely has any health left. Holy crap. Enemy unit down. Oh, 
We have a we did have a straight He's room. healing. We lost about, and a Neville crew too. Neville crew went down and about five guys went down a straight room. That was a good straight run. I don't even it see where the Neville the wind up. Down. Oh, there it is. Dead Two Neville's. Noobles. <laughs> Two noobles. That's awesome. Oh, he killed the second Neeble Burfer. What wow, did? that's in the strafing run. He, there was a little Neeble on the hill, and now it's dead. It blew it up, the strafing run killed it. Wow. Whoa! Uh, so both the Neeble are out of action for now, but he's remanning one of them with a Volk squad. But. Yep, there's a Firefly you were calling. Cromwell Command oh, Tank man, supporting a Firefly. Yeah, Two AT guns. Uh, oh, man. Nothing. The Neebles are coming down again, but uh, that's going to do uh, very little damage. Oh, no, those Neebles could do de decent damage here to the AT guns. Oh, the AT guns, that's, uh, that's right. I didn't think about it. Taking damage over time on one of them. Might we, kill it. Uh, Killed one. Still taking Little damage. Got him. It's dead. Weapon crew lost. Wow, the bunker's going to go down. Oh man. How does yeah, he have line of sight? Oh, the snipers. Yeah, the snipers. They're just patrolling that perimeter. That's dangerous, man. It is dangerous, but I mean, that's a very good use of a sniper is, uh... Oh, yeah. oh, oh strafing here. run? He's down again. Is he gonna hit him again with the strafing run? Does he have enough? No, that was a recon. I know. Oh, yeah, strafing run's to... coming in. Ooh! There goes an evil again. He yep. is so lucky to move that tank buster squad. He oh. is so lucky. And that one Neeble just barely hangs side. on. Yeah. You notice how much damage it does to the actual weapon as well? Look yeah. That. Oh, oh we the had, Fireflies uh, out. Boomerang. Good night! Ooh. Oh, these Hetzers, these Hetzers are his best counter for the Firefly, and even then, they're not a very good one. Was that Neeble's a sniper? Firing again. It was a sniper. He shot one sniper bolt, and he's getting out of there. It's just, uh-oh. No. Oh, no. Is he going for another? Oh, no! Counter snipe coming! There it is! Ah! Gun down. Good use of the, the noobles to uh, dislodge the enemy and make them really uncomfortable in that area where they're fortifying. But, uh... Hmm. The axes are in a really difficult spot right now. I'll say that, definitely. Because the anti-tank killing power that the axes have is... I mean, the allies have is really strong. Yeah, it is. An engineer squad just went down in the middle. Oh, wow, look at all those plus one XPs. Oh, we have supply drops. I didn't know that. Marinus uh, called in uh, supply drops. And that was one of the changes so in the patches. It changed from 200 to 100 resources. Yeah. yeah which I think true. was decent. I, I thought it was overpriced yeah. in, the, in the past. Now they're going to be able to Even perhaps though, cap this bottom VP and start the ticker going the other way. Enemy. Here comes another strafing run. Because... That was... Wow. That's I don't know how he did that. How did he get line of sight there? Maybe he could just barely see it with the sniper, I guess, but Look he killed the actual coming for the Nevels. Oh, man, they're going to lose another mortar half track if they're not careful. Good use of fire up right there. He's going to probably satchel the Neville. Cause, no, he's just going to use the recoil's rifle. He's going to run into it with this dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of the way. Why aren't the RRs firing? What Why is it? Okay, <laughs> it's go. doing another power slide. Oh, what's Stug doing? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Good job, animations. Oh, man, right into the shack. Do you remember my panther that was out of control for about five minutes and killed, like, two Shermans? You yeah. That? <laughs> that was, that was awesome. the best thing ever. How does the shack not catch on fire? Oh, it totally I is. All right, all the noobles are down, so that's devastating for the Axis players. They have no form of uh, our Two snipers insta-kill <laughs> that wow, Volk squad. squad just got eliminated. Not insta-kill, but, I mean, they, they just okay. reduced it, and it was like, oh, God. Get out yeah, we have the barter uh, upgrade done from the Panzer Jaeger command, and we're probably gonna yeah we're gonna see a martyr come out, but I don't know how much good that's gonna do him. Good use of the noobles. Uh, he has another noobles. Ooh, that's, that sniper that's... might die. Oh, he got out of there just in time. Hmm. What up? Oh, in the south, they're not gonna let him have that VP. He's gonna lose that squad too. Maybe. If the allies are smart, they'll chase him. Chase, chase, chase. Oh, no. Look at him go. Oh man. He could. Go! Oh! <laughs> the! Way! Yes! Wait, wait, engineers moving intercept? Oh, no, they're not fast enough. That's a pity. You know, one thing that really frustrates me about the Panzer and Sniper that gets I think no. should come a lot sooner, maybe even an upgrade from the HQ, the sprint ability. 
Because, I mean, what the hell use is it when you have to get every single upgrade before you get the sprint ability? Give me a break! I mean, come on! <laughs> it is cool, it would, would be, be nice very to have. useful early in mid-game, but seriously, late game it's worthless. That's really stupid. That, oh, he's got enough for a bombing run, too. He, he's got he's got four oh, points. Oh. I don't know why he's not oh. turning on bombing oh. run. Look at that clusterfuck by the plus five point. Look at that. There's so much infantry there. That's That could be... Wow, that could be oh, very man. definite. They're a bombing all run there? Just the Panzer Elite's really bunching up there. Oh, man. That's so much manpower right there. Oh. Ooh. Oh Good wow, AT nothing, gun, though, AT say. gun taking some uh, some fire yeah. from the mortar, and the martyr is actually doing long range damage to it before it got away. There's a nice mortar. Unit lost. Nice. Killed and it. And there's another martyr out from Aniketos. Wow. Ooh. Oh man, we're gonna see something bad coming down in this little position here. I guarantee you. And if they don't, the allied players are really not paying attention. I would drop a bombing run on that martyr and the AT half track. He doesn't have enough for a bombing run. He's got enough for oh, a strafing. Doesn't. He's got 211 right now. We're in the shit now. So we're close, man. So close. Neebles are actually doing some decent uh, harassment to him this so Yeah, they're far. definitely doing a good job with harassment on the uh, British players. Not letting them quite bunker down as hard as they'd like to. Great use. I always hate to see martyrs when I've got our, when I've got any kind of vehicles. Yeah. Martyrs are just so powerful. I, I, I gather that it feels to me like they're more damaging than... Uh, than a tiger gun. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, sometimes? Oh, they're trying to chase that Firefly. Oh, they're gonna get the Firefly. Oh, oh hit crap. it! They're Here comes the Martyr! Destroyed engine! And the command tank That's is it. blocking... The, the command tank is blocking its retreat path, but it... Oh, it, ooh! We have the Firefly is down. Wow, is. Firefly down. And here comes all the Axis armor and everything. Wow, this is a devastating turnaround for the wow, Allies. Wow, yeah, they they were the Allies were in very good position. Oh no! Bombing run. Uh oh. oh. Look at all those plus twos. Holy crap. Oh, they didn't really do and the much Martyrs though. Go down too. They Look have at two that. more fireflies. Did they Look really change the bombing run? Because that hardly did anything. The didn't bombing seem to run me. killed most of his infantry. Yeah, I guess it did kill a lot of infantry. I didn't see the plus. Green, yeah, green numbers for some reason. Oh, but we got another Firefly. Two more Fireflies! Dude, yeah. Oh, wow. boy. That's, That's bad news. Really impossible Even a see. Martyr's gonna have a very tough time against two Fireflies. Yeah, two Martyrs, martyrs would be good. Much, but they lost that, a Martyr. Is that. Oh, Creeping Barrage. Holy crap. He, oh, no! It's gonna come down right on, on the screen. Americans. Oh! That's oh, no longer Martyrs. a squad! It's gone! <laughs> He's got one guy left who was like no, reinforcing. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh, no, everything's blowing up. Excellent use of creeping barrage there. That was so. Oh, the headser could go down. Holy crap! Wow! Oh. It's just barely gonna survive. They're both barely going to survive. That was an excellent engagement for the um, uh, the Allied players. Do you know what doctrine the uh, Royal Can uh, the uh, British went? Is it Royal Canadian Artillery? It must be. If they got creeping barrage, it's Royal Canadian yeah. Artillery. Okay. M8, double vet M8 about to go down in the uh, middle. But how could they have region. creeping barrage if they don't have a 25 pounder? Uh, do they have a priest on the field? Yes, they do. They have a priest on the field. Where's it at? Priest by the uh, British command truck. Um, yeah. By the plus Oh, yeah, eight. there it is. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Priests are excellent. Oh, right, God, I love so... priests. They're so annoying if you're fighting them, though. I mean, oh, man. It's a mobile 25-pounder. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's so powerful. A mobile 25-pounder, no mobile howitzer, whatever you want to call it. The middle is now completely barren. Both sides just yeah, said, screw it, I'm leaving. You're in the south on the hill. The allied players left a uh, fuel drop. Look at that. Oh, and no. The baron's going to get it. He they might notice. not be noticing. Oh no. <laughs> and they're gonna die to the steward. Oh no. Oh the steward <laughs> Stuart. Steward's dead. Wow. <laughs> One shot kill. Nice. Oh man, that must they must have been really low on health. And we have a Ketten out by Annie. That's great. That's really gonna help him recap fast. We have another martyr out. Artillery falling on the base from the priest probably. Yeah, I think they're aiming for the Nubelwerfer, but 
Oh, it's protected by the hill, though. Oh, coming in or something. What is that? Bombing run? Oh, no. No, it's a scout. Oh, no, that was a bombing run. Whoa, it took out a head, sir. Excellent. Ouch. Good prediction by Annie in retreating all his infantry. That was excellent. That was well done. Recoilless rifles are going to completely own up this Puma by the middle VP. But nice. you don't understand, he has a bad feeling about this, Sarge. <laughs> and the Germans have the VP in the south. Very nice. Look at all this infantry moving. What is that, a tiger tank? Ting Tiger, Where? baby, in the north. Oh, Too excellent. bad the north has pretty much been ignored as far yeah. as the VP is concerned. Yeah, they've really but a King Tiger could roll out. right in here. Oh, there's two Fireflies. Yeah. One of them and is very much dead, And a bunch of trenches. Though. You see that? Yeah. Like three trenches. Wow. They're sending in MP40s to try and dish out to the Airborne. And that's why Airborne are, are never used, because the MP40s are probably going to kill them. Good prop war. Prop war was used at the VP and retreated a rifle squad. I mean, I think it was Airborne squad. What okay, doctrine we has have the creeping brush on. on the hill with all the martyrs? Oh my goodness! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! One martyr is almost down. Two martyrs are almost down. Oh my goodness! I that love was a strafing brush. run too. Oh, no. I don't know what else they got. Oh, they got... heads are down! Oh! Another Dude. one! There it is! Oh my god! Wow! Well, all of Anikentos' infantry is dead now. That's um the strafing run everything... shot of that I think. No, just... that was uh that was a creeping barrage. That was the final hit from a creeping. There was barrage. also a strafing run at the same time though. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. That was devastating for the Al Axis players right there. That was wow. All of his infantry is dead now. That was absolutely chaotic. Great use of artillery though, in a very tactical way. I really like seeing that. It's not really just my surgical strike. Back. Yeah, pretty much. Shock and awe all the way. Oh, here comes more priest artillery on that hill. I cannot believe how many that killed three squads right there. That last. Uh, and look how fast shell. it is to freaking get back. Yeah. I hate how fast. I think all artillery need to have their cooldown increased by like 25 to 30 seconds. You know what's funny is they lowered the cooldown on the calliope and I think something else too. Yeah, the calliope didn't need lower cooldown. I mean, I no, love the dang thing. I love playing with it, but it doesn't need a lower cooldown. There's way too much artillery spam in this game as it is. If you, I mean, that's just Thank a you. taste thing, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Eddie Ketos' last Panzer Elite soldier was trying to cap the middle fuel, and uh, he got shot, hopped up into the air, and dove into the little car wreck. <laughs> oh, I see that it. Awesome. What's this King Tiger doing? Well, it's getting attacked by a lot of things. And... Oh man. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> oh no, the Puma's killing airborne soldiers as they're coming down. That's great, I love that. That's excellent. That's I don't know works. why they're wasting the priest artillery on the HQ. That's not doing anything. It's about the only building that doesn't get owned by artillery is the <laughs> base buildings. I remember in the uh, OF beta before it went retail, I remember uh, how, oh man, what's coming in? On the King Tiger, something's coming in on the King Tiger. Yep. Oh my goodness. A lot of artillery killing all his infantry. Oh man. Great use of artillery as a support, uh, support fire. This is excellent. Very tactically used. Excellent game so far. Yep. I hear ya. How's the American player doing on pop, uh, on manpower? Because he seems to be calling in a lot of airborne troopers. Yeah, he's only got 88 right now. He, he used the last of it yeah. to call in the the uh, AT gun there, I think. Okay. <sighs> he's at plus 295, though. It's pretty high. Really? Because he's got no riflemen. Does he have the supply uh, yard upgrades? Yes, he does. He has both of them. That's excellent right there. Ah. Ooh, prop war used to retreat two squads. Nice work. And we had a... I believe that's a Stug that went down. It looks like a Stug carcass, yeah. King MP44's Tiger has a damaged engine. 
Oh, that's the end of the King Tiger. Oh, Shaq went down. You see that? <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And that's 25 pounder coming in, probably from the yep. priest there. Yeah, he has. Uh, let's see, what does he have? Yeah, he has two uh, priests on the field right now, self-propelled artilleries. He ha we has defensive operations upgraded now. That King Tiger is in so much trouble. And it really didn't accomplish anything, you know no. what I mean? Seven infantry kills, whoop de doo <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna die. Look at the look at the fireflies firing on the KT. Yep. Keep backing up, man. Yeah. Don't just sit there. Nope, there it Comes is. Comes artillery wow. on all those Volks. Oh man, no! Entire Volk squad decimated. Oh god. Oh man, firefly down. Out of control and still kills the martyr. <laughs> wow! Awesome, excellent. But the second firefly is going to go down. That's a huge resource loss for the uh, allied players. Well, two fireflies for a martyr and a and a king, king tiger. tiger. Uh, I hope somebody gets. Don't crush that. Don't crush that. Get a get a burger tiger like yeah. right now. I don't think anything can crush the KT corpse though. Not even a tiger. Oh, maybe not. So they, yeah. The allies need to put artillery down on that so they can't get a burger tiger up on that. Artillery falling on the middle VP. Holy crap. Oh, oh that's direct hit. Oh, man. And everybody One guy goes left. flying. One guy yeah, left. Dude. Hang in there, buddy. You're in a trench. You can hang alive. Yeah. He's still there. Come on. He's, he's hanging camping. on there. By like oh, man. Bit. He's so close. Nice. He did it. Got it. Run, with all Run your away, mind. buddy. Run away. See... See, this is one problem that we've experienced in many of our games as well, Bridger, is we attack, like, the American player, like, really heavily, and we put everything into that, and in the meantime, the British player is allowed to consolidate a position, and then it's just impossible to dig him out. Not only impossible That's... to dig him out, it doesn't matter. Wherever he is, he's dropping artillery on you, but there is the Jagged Panther. Driving I don't recklessly know... through a whole bunch of... Yeah, I don't know rifles. what he's trying to do. I bet he had the call in to a forward position, then forgot about it. Maybe, but I don't. The, Ger the Germans never had anything past that point. <laughs> I guess he was feeling really gutsy, but look, it's already down to half health. Wow. Lots, of, lots of rear shots from Recoilus, that's why. Yeah. But isn't that like and the exact same place that the King Tiger thing, got in yeah. trouble? Yeah, oh, man. that's true. It hasn't killed All anything. All these martyrs yet. are going to die here. Oh, bombing run coming in on the martyrs! Oh no! no. Oh uh, yeah, it is strafing. a strafing. It killed all the volts. Wow, that's devastating. <laughs> the bodies just got kicked under there. Oh no! There goes the King Tiger corpse. No, it they're really lacking back. in anti-infantry killing power right now. The Axis players. Yeah. And that's what's killing. It really is. Harder the Jagged Panther and, and the King Tiger are both very anti-tank. Yeah. And you know, especially the Jagged Panther is very weak on infantry for some reason. Maybe Luftwaffe could have helped the uh, the Axis players better, because the Falschirms would have been really helpful, I think. Oh, triple vet uh, airborne wow, squad! I just, yeah, they just got Axis. it. A flak verling gained uh, veterancy by Annie's base. You see that? It's got a level of vet. <laughs> wow! Oh no! Here comes more artillery on the Yagd. Oh crap! I wonder if Panzer fours from the uh, from both of them could have been more useful. I'm not sure. Vet two Panzer fours. Wow. Look at look at this. We have three priests up, and one of them is on Overwatch. I'm not sure what sector though. Oh, two snipers in the middle. How many snipers does the Allied player have? Like three or four? Or did he lose the previous two with Vet? He must have, huh? He must have. These guys are hitting a retreat real quick. Oh, that's too bad. Look at all these supply drops in his base though, and he's not getting them. Now he is. There we go. Fuel oh, my... oh, he's going to give it to the uh, British player. Nice. That's good teamwork right there. Oh, what? Overwatch fired on his own? What? Weird. Where is it? Oh, it must have been like a dud or something. That's odd. Oh, oh. artillery coming out in the middle again. We yep. have Nubles. What is that? A, a recon run? Recon yeah, run, yep. Be... How may, many I munitions does he have? Oh. He using he's a bombing run. Different. Right on oh, the Yag. God. Oh no, it's gonna it's gonna get out of there though. It only killed the pilot squad. That was just a terrible waste of two fifty munitions. Yeah. Could have been better. Here comes the massive yeah. gun. And look how little it does to any of the I know, it's missing all the time and everything. Oh, it actually killed uh three guys there. That's 
these snipers have been absolutely incredibly useful. Look, he's going to lose all these squads. Wow. This could be terrible. Oh, man. Wow. Hey, I hear the Godfather theme song. Wow. I must be going insane. <sighs> Always a good time. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm wondering where... Maybe Knight's Cross would be very useful. I don't know. They could be. Do we have tier four up? No, we no, don't. No, we don't. That's that's interesting. I mean, Knight's that's Cross would hose all I... of these airborne. Knight's oh, Cross would they, absolutely they would devastate them. Up, yeah. Especially if squad. they were that three. That would be yeah. excellent. But they really haven't invested that much into infantry. Neither side. Like, there's not much infantry vet or armor coming out from the Axis players since tier three failed on them. And I think they're having a uh, hard time figuring out what to do now because the Allies players are constantly harassing and just constantly keeping them busy. And this artillery is constantly just keeping them off kilter. It's really great play so far. I'm really impressed. He's doing his best with the Nebels to try and damage the British emplacement. But, I mean, everything the British have is completely bunkered against artillery. The trenches yeah. make you immune to artillery. The emplacements yep. are immune to artillery for the most part, except yep. for direct hits. Yeah. So, I feel like this is in uh, big trouble here for the Axis. Well, we have assault grenadiers moving in the south while well, they're just guys with MP44s, actually. Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. They're still going to kill the hell out. Even if it's a Vet 3 oh, squad, man. I don't care. Terrible they're going to they're gonna leave. Them. Run, run, run. If he loses that... Oh, man. He's running. He's got fire up. Yeah, he has to run away. Wow, this is Sniper just a... sitting here picking off the... Uh... Look at all the artillery falling on the Wehrmacht base. That's pretty crazy. He's going to get the... He might get the Kampfkraft Center. Losing a victory point. We are losing... Huge push on this middle VP here by the Wehrmacht. But artillery's coming down. I think that's Overwatch. Oh, good lord. Two priests firing on it. Strafing run. Strafing Killed run, too. Kill oh, no! Squad. My god! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that artillery coming in now, though. Look at that. The strafing run killed them because they hit the retreat button. If they'd yep. stayed there, but they ran as the bullets were moving and advancing, they ran into the path. Wow. You don't see that every That's day. That's devastating. That's really devastating. So both the heavy tanks are down, right? No, the Yag's still alive. The Yag is still alive. Whatever good that'll do them. Yeah, where not is very it? much. I don't even know where. Oh it is. no, Panzer Shrek presence by the VP. <laughs> oh, engineers just picked up a Panzer Shrek. Oh, there's the Yag. It's kill done the Yag. six kills so far. Panzer Shrek presence. Sniper's trying to kill the Yag. Kill the Yag. You watch how much artillery is gonna fall on this sucker. I'm amazed they haven't been using Overwatch to a better effect. Look at all these snipers. Oh my good god. One of them might go down. One, yeah, one sniper is almost... Yep, one sniper's down. That, that was good. He was the vet one. But wow, this is... See, this is what they've been missing. The American player has just been... They've been letting the American player get away with, with not really having anything. All he's been doing is putting out airborne squads and using his... Using... But it's gonna... Nothing. Nothing. See, the American player's just been doing nothing but putting out airborne squads and getting uh, more and more supply drops and using them for yep. strafing runs and such. I mean, you shouldn't have been able to get away with just using airborne. He hasn't even had any AT guns for a long time. Yeah. It's been the artillery and the strafing runs and the fact that the German players have not had any heavy infantry. Or heavy artillery to counter. <laughs> well, the Germans never really have any heavy artillery. What are you going to The Hetzer? Scorched or... Earth! <laughs> I mean, that's the, right, Hummel. Hetzer, the Hummel. That's uh, what I was looking for. Uh, yeah. Look at all this fuel. He's like, I don't need it. He's got 825, that's why. <laughs> we have an American officer player. that just caused a retreat on a uh, oh, yeah. rifle section middle VP. Five VPs left, that's why <laughs> he needed to stop it. The Axis players are at five VPs. Oh, they, they drop both victory points. And they have all the victory it. points, though. Yep, they're capping them uh, both. I don't think they're going to be able to hold it, though. That's the problem. See, look at all these airborne coming. Oh, man. Including the Vet 3 squad and a Vet 1 sniper, too. That one's got four kills. Yeah, he doesn't have enough, he has enough for another retreat uh, very soon, but I think the Allied players are going to... Oh, man. He has 530 fuel, the Wehrmacht player. I definitely think some Panthers would have been a good idea. Or maybe yeah, Panthers, the, the Tank Hunter's Doctrine has not served him well at all. No. Sniper's running away. 
I would have liked to see one of the new firestorms, you know what I mean? I heard it comes in a lot faster. That would have been cool. Maybe is that what's coming down now or that Nebels? Oh, uh, that's, that's Nebels. uh Nebels. Hmm, what else we got interesting that's happening? <laughs> There's the PE squad running. getting ripped up by uh the uh they were trying to take down the Panzer Shrek presence and they're gonna die now. Oh no, they might make it. These priests have been used to absolutely devastating. Look, one of the priests has a 25 unit kill count. Oh my god, wow. really? 25? Yeah. Enemy. Yep. Another 25 one has and nothing. Two vehicles. <laughs> and one vehicle, that's it. One tank. The other one is four yeah. and two. I think that's the one that's on Overwatch, right? That's what yeah. the circles there are? That's on Overwatch right there. I think it's on Overwatch on the middle VP. Yep. We know how the Americans are firing up and chasing this. Oh, squad. they're gonna go into the Wehrmacht base. Oh no, they're not. They're gonna run away. He no, used the, the bunker still that alive. Was probably not a good idea. Yeah, no. this is gonna be a good game here. Look, look, the sniper's gonna decap the middle, and he used his prop war, so there's no getting it out of there now. Oh man, he's moving everything to the middle. Here it comes Panzer Grenadiers with MP44s. They're charging. No. The, the sniper in the middle is forced to leave. Make it. They're never gonna make it. Oh, oh but they look are. at the south. Oh, look Panzer at the Shrek south. Coming. There's a single oh, no! infantry section no. going to, to <laughs> cap the VP. No, that's just terrible. That's really rude. Bombing run, I think, just fell. No, that was uh, yeah, it was a bombing run. No, it was a, on, it was a uh, recon. Here comes the oh, bombing. There we go. It's going on the Yag Panther, I think. Oh. oh. Worthless. Okay. Oh it's no, they're gonna stop to the be. cap on the recon section in the south. Taking them long enough to kill them. There we go. Okay, they stopped the cap. They're recapping the middle. <laughs> this is insane. How are they oh, coming man. back? Oh my god. Oh no, game's over. Oh man, because they both went oh, neutral. Oh, because they were both they neutral. Had the <laughs> <laughs> they had the north. Oh god. Look at this. That Look was... at this British player's base. That was un. Molested the entire yeah. game. How do you get in there? How do you destroy that? Two mortar sections. Look at that. Two mortars, trenches wow. up the wazoo with not only infantry sections, but two or three fireflies in there, and yeah. a Cromwell command tank that is level three vet because it's been sitting it's next to this self propelled artillery. Yeah. yeah. Wow. wow. That was a crazy I hate, game and definitely a good opener, good starter upper yeah, show again. It just, I hate the British so much. Me too. Me too. Oh, artillery too... blues. But that was that. I gotta give it to them. They used the artillery very tactically. They didn't spam it. They did a really nice job in no. this game. Uh, you're right. The priests right. are just amazingly destructive. Oh I yeah. Mean, I wish I could see the stats because I could tell you that probably the British player hardly lost any manpower worth of anything. <laughs> he just bought really yeah. expensive stuff. I mean, he lost what two fireflies at some point, and that's it. I think. <laughs> I think he lost three. Yeah. <laughs> Two or three, maybe. Yeah, that's wow. And he lost Ooh. one recon section in the south. <laughs> oh, dude, that was a great game. Fantastic. Good good oh, yeah. opener. Anaketos and Spikes, beaten by Marinez and Adrian. This is the most recent patch, 3.108, if I'm not mistaken. Just for those of you still following along. Anyways, I believe that is going to be the end. Thank you guys for tuning in. Some great, exciting news. Head on over to the website if you really feel like it, if you feel like we're doing a great job, if you feel like you want to give back to Tales of Heroes and help us out. Keep us on the air. Keep the shows flowing on time. Send us a donation. Whatever you think the show is worth. Tales.gamefire.com. You'll see a link on the right-hand side to PayPal. We'd appreciate it. If you think it's worth it, go ahead. If it's... If it's not worth it, send us an email and tell us why. What would you like to see? <laughs> What's better? What could be better? What could be worse? That's what we like to hear. All right. Thanks, guys. Tales of Heroes 62, we're back.